Hello, Sue. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I know oh, that, again, thank you. I know that it's been a little bit of a new experience, but you've done a great job and we're on and we're ready to go. So thank you. Um, but for those people that don't know, Sue Wilkinson is one of our life members um, and she has a wealth of knowledge and she's been around Knox for a really long time. So I think it'll be really great for those that don't know Sue um, to get to know her a little bit better and those that have been around for a while to, um, I guess, reminisce on some memories. Thank you, Megan. Looking forward to it. All righty. We'll kick off with the first question. Um, tell us a little bit about your journey at Knox. When did it start and how did you get involved? Well, my journey at Knox started, oh, goodness me, about 30 years ago when I was a player or more. more. Um, and then I decided to take up refereeing to see the other side of basketball because I was pretty, I was sort of a bit mouthy as a player. <laughs> so I thought, I'll give it a go at the other side and see, you know, what it's all about. And uh, that's where it started. So I started, um, I was well, about 20, 24 years ago, about 1996, I started riffing. So I think I was in my early 40s when I did started that. So I was a mature age referee. But look, it was all good fun. And I really haven't looked back since, Megan. So it's been wonderful times awesome. of my life. Awesome. I think it's funny. A lot of people do start as a player and they think they could probably yeah. do a better job. So I think it's um, funny that that was the case for you as well. Much to say that my playing days ended after that. So <laughs> I just um, started refereeing seven nights a week. Oh, good. I'm glad, seven I'm glad nights to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you. Next question for you. Uh, what did receiving life membership mean to you and why? Life membership to me was a surprise. Um, it absolutely means the world to me. Um, I find it to be a, a reward uh, for all the recognition, it's a recognition of um, your contributions to basketball, to the BBRA and uh, giving back and dedication, um, hard work, hard work. I worked hard over the years. Um, yeah, and I think that's, that's really, and committee, committee. I was on committee for about nine consecutive years. I was a tribunal convener. Um, yeah, and I think that's that's acknowledgement from the VBRA to some somebody like myself that has actually put in the hard yards. Um, but it means the world to me. It absolutely means the world to me. I'm so proud of that. And thank you guys for that. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I think I think definitely the reaction on the day that you received it at the AG <laughs> really it really spoke um, a million words and how much it really did mean to you. So that was a really rewarding thing to oh, see yeah. and see your reaction. It was an actual surprise because I thought I was there for an award that Chelsea Smith was getting. <laughs> but it turned out, because I said, I'm not going. Yeah, I'm not going. And yeah, and, and she begged me to go. And I thought it was a, a, an award for her, but it turned out it was my life membership. Yeah, I think <laughs> but it just means a, a good stitch up by DJ <laughs> on that day for you. Oh, he, he, he's gone, that man, I tell you. <laughs> I've known him since he was 16, Daniel Batty, and he's a terror. He's a terror. It. I love it. <laughs> All right. Um, this time I've got a little bit of a question from someone else for you. So I'm going to play the audio. Um, this is from Steve Pyatek and a question uh, that he has for you. Hello, Sue. I've been asked by Megan if I'd like to ask you a question. My question is, what's your favourite memory from supervising Sunday nights? Ah, oh, Steve, Sunday nights. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Oh, we had so much fun on Sunday nights. I have lots and lots of memories of Sunday nights. I really do. Um, I suppose the highlight of Sunday nights of being supervisor was getting to know all the young kids that I had under my wing. And Steve was one of those and Daniel Batty was one of those and Ian Knight was another one. And, oh, goodness me, we had quite a few. Um, but I'd say reffing vets. Vets was the highlight of Sunday nights. We all love doing it and we love doing it together. You know, um, I also was an active referee on Sunday nights as well as supervising. Um, and I did a lot of vets and yeah, but there was one that really sticks out there. Um, I used to, I used to reward the referees regardless of their grading. If I felt they could do a game, an A grade game regarding regardless of, you know, what their grading was, I'd put them on. And twenty under 21s on Sunday night was a really hard night to ref. And I put um, the little Mr. DB, 
<laughs> Daniel Bailey on an A grade, under 21 A grade game. And he was a B grade referee. And I don't think he'll ever forget that. And I'll never forget that either. But we had lots of highlights. So Steve, yeah, you were one of them too. We, it, was just <laughs> fun. it was a fun night. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I did it for, oh goodness me, I think six years. And then uh, Daniel took over. Yeah, awesome. And I think it's good to hear that, you know, people that you had an influence on are still around and still on offs like Ian, Daniel and Steve. So that's really good yeah. to hear from memories from yeah. when you were around on Sunday nights too. Oh, look, those friendships I think will live on forever, Megan. You know, I treasure the friendship I have with those kids. I call them kids because you're all kids to me. <laughs> I'm an oldie. <laughs> but I do, and I love coming down to the AGM to see them all, you know. It, no, we had a lot of fun Sunday nights. It was good. Oh, that's good. That's good. lovely to hear. Um, yeah. My next question for you is from Chelsea Smith. Now, for those who don't know, Chelsea is someone who um, you've taken under your wing as a referee um, from your association. So I've got a question yes. um, from Phelps for you. Hey Sue, I've been asked to think of a question for you and I feel like this question is really appropriate because you've been at Knox for a while now so you know the changes that has happened over the years but to you what has been the biggest change to refereeing since you were actively refereeing till now? Well I've seen a huge change Chelsea since Anthony Olsebrook took over um, he actually was very active in his advisor's role. Um, and I think, oh, goodness me, the knowledge that he gave to everybody and you could you could actually approach Anthony. Um, he's changed, he changed the whole refereeing aspect of Knox, as far as I'm concerned, with um, a lot of rule knowledge, uh, a lot of a lot of things that we've done, a lot of interaction. Um, yeah, so I think refereeing for the better part of Knox was when Anthony Olsebrook took over the advisor's role, I have to say, because that's where I saw a huge change. You know, we sort of got a little bit lost in the system at times, but not when Anthony took over. So I have to say Anthony did change a lot at Knox. Yeah. That's great. So Anthony We're better for it. Better for it. Yeah. yeah, and he truly was an amazing man and someone whose legacy oh. will live on forever at Knox. And who are, he's touched a lot, a lot of people. Yeah, and you know, and I'm also pleased that you have his shoes to fill. And they're big shoes to fill, Megan. And they you really know that are. Well. They really are, and yeah. I'm honoured to take yeah. over from him. Um, yeah. he, he taught me a lot, and yeah, as I said, his legacy will live on forever. I think he's taught all of us a lot at Knox. We've all learned a lot from Anthony, but the best part was that you could approach him. He was approachable. He was very approachable. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So I have seen a big change, Chelsea. Um, in the way that also the referees, the camaraderie is there. You'll have friends, you know, you've got friends for life with basketball. Um, yeah, no, it's a big change, a huge change in Knox that I've seen over the years. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Sue. Um, my last question for you is what message do you have for our members during this quite difficult and challenging time? It is a very difficult and challenging time. All I can say to you guys is keep up your fitness and your rule knowledge um and it, we, we will get there we will get there but keep your rule knowledge up i used to always have my head in that rule book that's the best thing and the fitness keep it up while we're not you know while you're not on court um it will get better it'll get better hopefully really soon yeah, yeah awesome i think that's great advice too and thank you so much for taking the time it was so lovely to chat to you and um, to hear you. about all of your memories and things like that so thank you thank you megan very much Thank you very much.